Look, we got to talk about something here because scalpers have obviously ruined our day many a time, right? We've talked about scalping stuff, uh, especially here in the United States where it's legally allowed. We have talked about this being a problem, usually when it's about collector's editions of games, right? Like the Zelda Tears of the Kingdom collector's edition was scalped to all hell. I mean, a lot of people I know have actually resorted to buying versions of that collector's edition off of eBay, even though it's against eBay's terms of service to sell a pre-order item until 30 days before that item is supposed to be available. So all of those listings shouldn't exist. But yet, some people have resorted to buying off those listings because this is a limited edition of the game. There's only going to be so many versions or so many copies of the collector's edition, and people really want it. So, you know, I'm not here to tell you whether or not you should buy from scalpers because frankly, the issue isn't us and buying from scalpers. The issue is them being scalped at all. And there are many ways you can blame this. Nintendo didn't make enough copies, this and that. But here's the thing, scalping has been around forever. This isn't a new thing. It's existed pretty much since the beginning of the internet. But the interesting part about the scalping situation is that when the scalpers are doing something that shouldn't be possible to be scalped. And Metroid Prime Remaster's Physical Edition is having that issue right now. Now, before we dive into what's been happening with the scalp situation, I want to remind you we're on our road to 100,000 subscribers. And speaking of that ultra rare uh, Tears of the Kingdom Collector's Edition, we're actually going to be giving one away if we hit 100,000 subscribers by the time Tears of the Kingdom comes out. So, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And why not drop a like? And let's talk about this situation. So maybe you're somebody who didn't bother to pre-order a physical edition of Metroid Prime Remaster, figuring, you know what? Like almost any physical copy of a game, it's not super difficult to walk into a local store and pick one up. Maybe they might sell it online day one, but, you know, it's, it's not a big deal, right? You can go ahead and get more somewhere locally except this is a weird one there actually wasn't that many physical copies available locally in the first place that's weird nintendo why didn't you send out more physical copies locally i don't know but whatever we'll just w go online and buy it at some other retailers except it's sold out at all of them and every listing you're finding is above msrp because the game is being scalped. The copies are going from anywhere from $60 to $100 online. And this is just insane to me that a game that isn't even supposed to be rare, isn't even a limited release, it should be getting plenty of restocks, isn't. Now, we can't blame Nintendo entirely for this situation because... <clears throat> Not only did they never say this was a limited run collector's edition, orders are based on demand. So Metroid has never been a really big seller. And if I had to guess, a lot of retailers just simply didn't order a bunch of copies of Metroid Prime Remaster. They didn't want to fill their store shelves with 50 copies and be stuck not able to sell them. So some of this is on the retailers simply not ordering enough. Now, obviously with them being sold out, they will order more, and a new shipment will probably arrive next week. But here's the thing. That doesn't solve right now. The physical copy's been available supposedly for, you know, two-plus days at this point, except most of us have never actually seen a physical copy in person. And some that have, this is funny, I've seen some stories, oh, I walked by the electronics section, and yeah, I saw a couple physical copies and then I went and looked at some TVs or whatever, like you're in Best Buy. Then you turn back around to go back through the aisle, and it was gone. It's crazy how quickly these are going and how quickly they are being scalped. Well, there isn't a crazy number of listings on their, uh, you know, on eBay and stuff. I think there's only three pages at 60 each. So it's about 180 listings for this game on eBay. It's being listed a lot of other places, a lot of local marketplaces, a lot of other applications have it because people have started to realize eBay ain't always the best place to scalp items because it's not. 
honestly, there are better percentages in, in some places like Facebook Marketplace where you could go ahead and scalp items without worrying about, you know, eBay or Facebook or, or any of these companies taking a cut. So, yeah, eBay may, might not even be the best place to scalp anymore. But the point is that it's, it's a little frustrating to see that this has happened. Now, for Nintendo's purposes, I mean, it's mostly a good thing, right? The game sold out. The retailers are going to order more copies. People are going to buy those copies because they're only 40 bucks each. And it should, in theory, lead to an increase in sales for Metroid Prime Remaster. So from Nintendo's point of view, this is sort of a positive that it's in such high demand that it can be scalped. But also, for consumers, this is kind of sucks. And I know we can't do anything about scalp culture, especially here in the United States. It, 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 you know, video games are a non-essential item. The government's not going to care. And uh, yeah, sure, these retailers should order more copies, but it's just it, it's it's weird to me. The last thing I thought I'd be talking about on um, the day that, you know, hey, we have uh, it's, it's some major games coming out, right? Right? We got Kirby, Return to Dreamland Deluxe, go play that. We have Octopath Traveler 2, go play that. Some amazing games, plus Metro Prime Remaster Physical this week. That What a great launch week. The last thing I thought I'd be talking about is how Metro Prime Remaster is being scalped. I, it, It's weird, right? I'm not the only one that finds this to be a weird story. Like, when Breath of the Wild came out, more copies of Breath of the Wild sold than Switches, but you could still find physical versions the day after launch. You could still find physical versions of almost any game the day after launch. And here, the day of launch, it felt like some retailers never had copies in the first place. It was it, it, It's crazy to me this situation has happened because obviously for 40 bucks. The demand was going to be high. The Metroid fan base as a fervor, right? It's about at least 2 million strong. There's probably about 2 million super hardcore Metroid fans out there. And they were going to want those physical copies, if nothing else, just to collect them. Many double dipping, getting the digital and the physical. And guys, I do implore you, please don't buy the scalper versions of this. Unlike the Zelda Collector's Edition, where we can't guarantee we'll ever get a chance to buy it again, unless you happen to win our giveaway... We don't need to worry about that with Metro Prime Remastered. There's going to be physical restocks. Just be patient. You can't be patient. Buy it digitally, but just, just wait, okay? It's going to be available in the stores again sometime next week. There'll be another shipment that comes in. I just, oh, it's a frustrating situation that we're even talking about this in 2023. I get it for the collector's editions. Look, I don't agree with it. I think it sucks. I hate scalpers. Also, I get it. I don't get it for something like this, and I hope not a single scalped version of this game actually sells. I, I, I just don't do it. Guys, this isn't going to be a rare game. This isn't Super Mario 3D All-Stars where Nintendo told us they were going to stop making them, and then it seems like they really never stopped making them as the game never actually went out of stock. Yeah, Nintendo. Go ahead and explain that little shady practice you seem to have run. A little interesting when you give us that fear of missing out and then you never actually stop providing stock for the game. Every holiday since. Sure seems like there's plenty of Super Mario 3D All-Stars on the shelf. They did it again. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel RoboJets from Nintendo Prime. Uh, we'll get some more content or other stuff to you later today. You guys are awesome and amazing, and I'll catch you in that next video.